Welcome to MIG, a course taught at the University of South Florida. This tutorial discusses the watchdog feature on the Arduino. We will learn how the watchdog feature works and we will learn how to use it to reset the Arduino or to call an interrupt if something unplanned happens in the main loop. The Arduino is driven by a 16 MHz clock that drives the uh, program counter. And this program counter that executes the commands that are stored in the uh, flash memory of the Arduino. Now in parallel and completely independent we have an additional clock that is on the Atmega chip. Uh, it runs at 128 kHz, so much much slower than the main program counter. And this clock, all it does is it counts a timer up and this timer is called the watchdog timer. And if the appropriate bits in the appropriate register are set, then every time this counter lapses, either a system reset can be triggered or an interrupt can be triggered. By using appropriate prescalers uh, between this uh, clock and the counter, we can adjust the lapse time, the timeout time of that counter for between 16 milliseconds and 8 seconds. That means we can create a situation that every 16 milliseconds to 8 seconds we can automatically create a system reset or call an interrupt. Now at the same time the Arduino main loop has the power to reset this timer to zero. This allows us to create a situation where the main loop, every time it runs through the loop, can reset this timer to zero and so the system reset or the interrupt is never triggered. This allows the creation of a failsafe mechanism where the Arduino can be automatically reset or an interrupt could be called in case something happens in the main loop that we didn't plan for. Sometimes because of some unanticipated conditions um, a program enters an infinite loop and then if something like that happens it would not execute the periodic watchdog timer reset and at that point then the timer would time out at the pre-selected time and the system reset or the interrupt would be executed. This is an important mechanism for cases where the Arduino operates in a remote location where it is difficult to, uh, to access or if it always has to work because it controls something important, think of an irrigation system. So with this uh, watchdog timer mechanism um, we can make sure that the Arduino always runs and that it uh, resets um, if something unexpected happens. So let's have a, a quick look at the um, registers and bits that control the watchdog timer. This here is the schematic from the data sheet, which you can download at the Atmel website. Uh, chapter 10 is the relevant chapter. So we have here this uh, prescaler that scales down the 128 kHz oscillation that drives this timer. And with uh, the WDP uh, bits, the four bits, that are in the uh, watchdog timer control register WDTSCR. Uh, we can select the timeout time uh, from 16 milliseconds to 8 seconds. Here the reset feeds in from the main loop. So this is the, the when the reset uh, function is called then the, the timer is reset to zero. Then we have those three control bits and uh, WDE is the watchdog enable bit. So only if this is set, uh, the watchdog mechanism is active. And then we have two bits that basically deal with the uh, interrupt, right? So if these two bits are set, then we can also call an interrupt service routine whenever the watchdog times out. If we just set DWE, then we get the the automatic reset after timeout. So all we have to do now in the main loop is to reset this timer before it times out and that prevents the reset and if something happens and we don't get anymore to the reset command in the main loop then the timer automatically times out and depending on what we select here with these three bits uh, we get a reset or an interrupt is triggered. It's also possible to get both actually 
So we can first have an interrupt executed and then uh, the reset occurs. So this interrupt could, uh, for example, um, send some kind of message that the uh, that the event occurred before the processor gets reset and uh, it then can continue running. Now it's time to look at the Arduino sketch. To use the watchdog uh, we need to include the AVR watchdog library. So this is wdt.h then we define here a loop count variable. We'll see further down what that does. In the setup we um, start serial communication and we print here starting up. So when the interrupt occurs or when the uh, reset occurs rather, then um, we will see on the uh, uh, serial monitor that the um, Arduino is starting back up. Then we enable pin 13 that, has the, that, that drives the built-in LED on the Arduino and we turn the LED on. And then we have a delay, 500 milliseconds, and then we jump into the watchdog setup. That's the watchdog setup routine. So basically what we're doing here is uh, simply um, setting the bits in the watchdog register. Uh, first we start out by uh, disabling all the interrupts. So CLI disables the the interrupt bit in the main status register. That ensures that no interrupt is called while we set the register. That's a, it's a very good idea to always do this before programming a register on the Arduino. Then we reset the timer. Uh, so it starts running from zero. So that gives us the maximum, uh, maximum amount of time to deal with it. And then we set the register bits. So all we do is now we set the um, eight bits in the WDT CSR watchdog uh, timer control register. And here it's listed what we're doing. So we interrupt, we enable the interrupt. We enable the, the reset, then we set the four prescaler uh, bits to a two second timeout, 2000 milliseconds, and so this is what's executed down here. So these commands, they simply create bytes where there is a one at the location defined by the uh, bit name. So if you look into the data sheet, here a uh, paragraph 10.9.2. Then you can see that, for example, WDCE is four. And so if you would have here WDCE uh, four would shift that one four uh, bit positions over in the in the bytes and then uh, create a byte like this here, right? Zero, 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 one, and then another four zeros. And so this byte then would be written with an OR into the WDTCSR register byte, and since it's an OR, the only thing we would affect is the one location where we have the one. So with this, we can selectively set single bits in this register. And so here we do that for all these uh, bits that we need to set. And then once we're done with that, we turn the interrupt on again. Okay, and then we go into the main loop. And in the main loop now, we simply execute a loop that increasingly gets longer. And so every time we go through the through the loop, we count the loop counter up, and that then makes the loop about 200 milliseconds longer. So what we will see is that it runs about 10 times, and then uh, until um, it is longer than two seconds, and then at that point, the Arduino is getting reset. So while the, the, the loop here is running, we always print at what time we are. So we can see then on the serial monitor uh, that after about two seconds or 2000 milliseconds, the Arduino is resetting. Down here, we have the interrupt service routine. We don't use it here, but of course you could put some code um, like triggering a pin to signal that the uh, reset event has occurred. Okay, now it's time to try this out. So when I start it, we will see the LED blink as we're counting, and we will see how it prints out that at ever longer times, the watchdog is being reset until we cross that two second threshold and we get the restart message um, printed that is here in the um, setup. Okay, let's fire it up. So here you see the Arduino blink as it's printing on the serial port and we're soon exceeding the two seconds. Here we go and we're starting up. 
and so now it's counting up again to 2 seconds or 2.2 seconds 2200 milliseconds and then we will get the next startup and here we go okay this seems to work nicely and with this we conclude our tutorial using the watchdog on the Arduino thanks for watching